Hi, Internet friends. It's Tim Schrock at Design Build Solutions. Today, I want to talk about how to deal with terrain holes like this one, where the uh, first floor is overlapping, say, say overhanging the uh, foundation, and so we've got a hole in the terrain. How do, how do we deal with that? Let's get started. So I've got X13 opened up, Chief Architect Premier X13, and this uh, works. This has, this method has worked for quite some time. I want to show you. Let's um, open up this terrain, and you'll notice that this clipping here in the general panel says "Hide terrain intersected by building." First off. Um, what that's doing is that is collecting the footprint from whatever floor level that you have put the terrain on. So let's go to plan view and you'll notice I've put the terrain level on floor one. Now I like to put it on floor one because that just makes sense with my, um, with the way I do plot plans and things like that. But you don't have to. Let's delete this and go down to floor level zero and put it on create a terrain perimeter here. And I'm just going to resize this quickly and set it at the same 30 inches that we had before. And now you'll notice that while the terrain, hide terrain intersected by building is still checked. It is inter hiding that intersection that's following the walls on level zero. And so it's, it's going around the foundation. Okay. Let's go back to, let's delete this, go back to first floor and create a terrain perimeter as I had before. And in my camera view, let's go set this at 30 again. I just do it at 30 because I want, I want to sh kind of exaggerate this hole here. If I were to simply uncheck this hide terrain intersected by building, well, you can see what happens here. I was going to take an interior view. Uh, I will have to take an interior view. There we go. We actually that is as if I can move the camera to the right spot, we actually get that terrain cutting all the way through the model. And we don't, you know, maybe maybe you care about that, maybe you don't care about that. If you don't care about that, that would be the simplest. But you can see that line goes all the way through in the section view. All right, so how do we how are we going to take care of this if I want the terrain appearing on level one, but I want it to hide based on the f foundation um, footprint. I'm going to click outside this wall a little bit and it selected the wall. So I'm going to just hit tab. And now I've selected the exterior room. I know that in two ways, I get the gray box outside the room, outside the footprint. And down here, it says exterior room. With that exterior room selected, I can select this Make Room Polyline tool. And I'm just going to hit Control X on my keyboard. I'm on a Windows PC, so uh, on a Mac, you'd be Command X for Cut. And go up one level and Control Alt V, which is Paste Hold in Place. On a Mac, that's uh, Command Option V. Okay. Without these, without clicking anything else, escape or mouse and otherwise, I'm going to choose this tool right down here, which is the convert polyline tool. And I'm going to convert that to a terrain feature. I thought I had shared this before, but the question came up today and I couldn't find any videos um, that I had, had explained this. So I, I just want, thought I'd record this. And so we've, we're converting this polyline that's the shape of the um, foundation footprint and converting it to a terrain feature. 
and just simply making that a hole right there. Click OK and go back to our camera view. The outside looks fine and the inside looks fine as well because that is gone. Let's take a section and the line does not go through the through the uh, basement any longer. And so that works for bay windows, that works for cantilevered um, areas. And you'll, you'll also notice that it did not, I, I, I had this here to show that um, automatically a room set by porch does not get cut through the uh, terrain. So before I go uh, with this topic, I further conversation on Facebook brought up, Ryan Gardner brought up that there is the tool. If you select the um, terrain, there is an edit tool down here called Make Terrain Holes Around Building. And if I s click on that, um, I now have, instead of doing my version of, of making the um, footprint of the foundation and then cut pasting and converting that into a terrain hole up here on on the first level you can now edit this um, i need to f9 there we go and edit that over here that works quickly if you've got just a um one one section here but if you've got a um like a bay window or something then i've got to come in here yes i could quickly edit that down as well and and that's an option i uh, i guess i'm just in the um Why is F9 not working? Anyway, I'm just in the habit of doing this way. And um, so it probably is a little quicker, I suppose, to doing the terrain hole uh, for most cases. So that that wanted to bring that, that up as an option as well. So I hope you find that helpful. Thanks for following along. Click like and subscribe down there and you'll get notified each week as I drop more videos. Have a great week. Take care.